Man. Finally back. Can't believe this is really happening. Did you just come one. from a funeral? Why do you got all black on? Should you even change for the show? Did you sleep in those? I didn't change in the Look at my outfit. Look at your outfit. I'm a bit hungry though, man. Now you hungry? Damn white boys. Nuts and fiber. Complex budget. Relax. You guys ready to do this thing? Bro, yeah. come on, look at my outfit. Oh, Boy. look, look, they must have heard I was hungry. We got some snacks over here. Oh, we got, we never had this yeah. before. You got some vegan Every snacks over there? Look at this. They even got me a Cliff Bar. They heard it was a Cliff Bar God. We got some <laughs> Cliff Bar God? Cheese it's over That's here. That's it. for the talent. What do you mean? It's for the talent. You know I'm on the show, right? I don't even, y'all <laughs> even know who this is? I'm on the show. I'm talent, if anybody. Wait, what's going on? Nothing. Yo, have whatever you want, but the Cliff Bar is me. Chill. Yeah. Are you what Cliff Bar? Me? What Cliff Bar? Huh? You want? No. What you want? You? What are you serious, man? You nah. Nothing. Are you serious? Nothing. 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 That's what we get for working Nothing. with a rapper, man. Nothing. What about that? What about that? What about that? Huh? That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello once again to our legions of fans out there. We are sorry for the wait, but this is Full Size Run. We are back. Of course, I'm Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. And I'm Trinidad James. We have a new co-host in, in it. the building. You are officially a complex employee. You know? Apparently we have like a new budget now if we have this guy. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, look at the set. We're guys, here. check out our set. We got couches. It's incredibly official. This is incredible. I don't think you're allowed to do that. You have um, really expensive sneakers on. Come on, make sure that every, every episode, my shoes are gonna be killing. I'm just letting y'all know, don't come for me. All right. I'm ready. Well, Sad and we'll one, episode that, one. Let's we'll go. We'll see how that turns out. Let's go. Um, we got a lot of new segments. Uh, we're, we're excited for this new season. I can only assume they're paying you an exorbitant amount of money to sit next to Matt Wealthy. So, uh, so at least he covered up his knees today, so I'm good. For, for a while with us. <laughs> People don't watch it. Uh, we're going to get canceled. Really yeah, quick, please so subscribe, that thumbs watch. Up button. Some new segments, some old segments. First thing we want to jump into here is the news. We're talking right now about Serena Williams' off-white Nike collection. This is time for the U.S. Open. She has three sneakers Perfect with time. Virgil. There's yeah. a... Nike Court Flare 2, promo only from what we understand. There's a uh, Air Max 97 oh, and there's right. a, a Blazer. How do you guys feel about these? I like those joints. Which I think ones? the, the, crazy the part Court is, Yeah? Those are hard, I wear them. Yeah. I think wear? that that was the no. hardest shoe out of the bunch, but I wouldn't wear a shoe that said Queen on the side. I'll leave that to you, but. <laughs> I already missed out on the 97s on, on Sneakers app, which is yeah, uh, pretty much par for the course. Have you guys ever gotten through on anything on, on the, the reservation system? Never even nah. tried, to be honest. No? I gave up on that. Yeah? Yeah. I got complex money. I buy um, shoes at resale. Yeah, d different complex money <laughs> the, than I think the rest <laughs> of us have. What do we think that like at this point, obviously it's great that he's doing it for Serena, but has the yeah. off-white stuff lost its luster? A, a it? little bit, but the Serena connection don't, through don't all... Do no, yeah. don't, don't do that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. You came on the show. Don't, don't no, do no. that. You cannot start slandering. I'm not. A queen. But if you want to come on this show, you got to keep it honest <laughs> about stuff. You can't like... Of course, no, but no, no, off-white no, is not dead. Off-white is not saying it's dead, but I'm saying has it lost its luster a little bit? Because it's for a woman? Because, no, of, because, because the be price is less? Like, oh, because because the they just released, they've released so many of it. They I, make I it think more it is a little bit less, but this collection to me is really cool, really on the nose. I love it. This is good. You should start wearing it. Anyways, moving forward, guys. All right. Nigel Sylvester. Jordan 1s? Jordan 1s. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, the kind of pre-distressed? First bike guy to BMX to get a, to get a shoe. That's awesome. He has that Jordan Biking Co. BMX bike. That's pretty cool. People are, the bike is incredible. Yeah. People are confused if they're actually like making those bikes. I probably think they probably didn't make it themselves. Oh, you don't think so? No. Oh. I, I like the idea on paper, and there's been some cool stuff like this. You know, not necessarily pre-distressed, but the distressed stuff like Lance Mountain, yeah, of course. Statue of Liberty, things These like that. Look like the Lance Mountain shoes a lot. These look kind of gross in photos. I, I got to see them first. I, like yeah, I like the I'll small Nike judgment. check they put on the toe. That's different yeah. to me. But I'm happy for him. But shout out to Frank. I guess. Yes. Good job. I guess. I don't know. It's, it's As a cool. biker at BMX, it's I mean, cool. it makes the, sense. Do you think the shoes are going to go for the resale? They're going to be hyped? I don't know. They already released them at Kith this weekend. I was actually at Kith this weekend. Customer service in there, not great. Sorry. At Kith? When, when, like when do you get your own Kith treats flavor? <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you? As soon as I start patronizing. It feels like, a, again, <laughs> this is this is no shots to our friends at Kith, but it feels like a mall in there. Ronnie, come on the show. In the new Kith? Mm, no, the one in New York. Okay, okay, the one in New York. I go to the one in LA. Anyways, they did a secret release there, yep. or a, a quiet release there and at mm -hmm. RSVP in LA as well. I think the full release is coming on September yep. 1st, so we'll have to see nice. how much people are really feeling them when that happens. I got RSVP, they're from Chicago. Something crazy happened in Chicago. Oh yeah, this 
recently. Nice. Uh, yeah. Police were setting up bait trucks. He, his transitions got way better. Look at him. Season. He got a shade. Yeah. 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 Don't look at the back of his hair. Police, though. Yeah. Uh, police were setting up bait trucks in predominantly you know, black neighborhoods, mm -hmm. putting, what was it, Jordans in uh, Nike. Christian Louboutins, right? Yeah, Louboutin, yeah. In, the, right. in the back of it, waiting for people to just come and snatch the shoes and then, ha, ah, gotcha sort of moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's terrible. I hate um, that. There was a big negative reaction to that right. happening. As it should. People thought people were just, you know, getting set up, not condoning stealing no matter what, but just the situation itself. You know, it's like you're just—it it puts a bad trust issue. Yeah, ex exactly. So, and it's like, what are you, what are you getting out of it? Because it's not really deterring crime. What is the yeah. name of the company that apologized? Uh, yeah. Norfolk Southern. Yeah. Uh, in a, in a report at Vox, they issued that a, was like, the, a, that an was apology. The, that was the company who owned the actual truck, right? right. Trucks. And basically, they were trying to explain that that um, there had been complaints. They say of of cargo theft in the area. So they were. I think in their minds, again, I'm not, I'm not condoning this or supporting this, but uh, you sure? a <laughs> aiding you got the, FBI the, uh, um, uh, the, you know, capture of criminals, I guess. Right. What I, are you doing I, if you've seen a pair of sneakers on the back of a truck? That's whoa, a good whoa, question. Whoa. That's a good, you know, he's uh, he going to go black first. That's his mm. thing. But um, mm. just in general, I mean, I have too much money to steal now in life, so I'm not going to do that. The old me, I mean, probably take it, man. I'll probably take it. If it was a box full of shoes. Yeah. I'll probably take it. Just to play devil's advocate here, like, I mean, if there are people in these neighborhoods, again, I don't agree with this tactic at all. I think it's awful. But, you know, if there are people who are, who are stealing stuff, does it make sense for the cops to try and set up, oh, if, if there are thieves targeting cargo, can we? Yeah, it, I just think that I wish there was a better way to do it. It just yeah. doesn't feel right. It yeah. doesn't. But you're right. Stealing is bad. I can't condone well, stealing. Well, the one that, you know, that uh, constantly pisses everyone off is the getting the shit stolen off your front porch. You know what I mean? Like, if you get... I've had so many dark days where I'm at the office and <laughs> dark days. scared about the, the Supreme hoodie on my on my stoop disappearing. That you actually got for Rich Mays Lopez. <laughs> RB, I, don't know who, Rich. I don't know who that is. Let's talk more Chicago news. Native of the Windy City, Kanye West. Kanye! Um, recently, he had the most incredible suit on for 2 Chainz <laughs> yeah. wedding. Caused quite a stir. Uh, it looked like for a second there that maybe they were going to restock a bunch of old Yeezys they on were the posting, Yeezy like, Supply website. They were posting like on Yeezy Supply. Yeah. This, it's like, the archive. That's right. That's smart. I, I get it, but the, when you see that, you think you're like, oh shit. Because you're off. a yeah. freaking hype beast. That's why. <laughs> I'm a hype beast. <laughs> I actually had like a roller coaster of emotions because I was like, thank God I sold my pairs. You know, oh, and I was, wow. I was oh, you know, like, envisioning now. a future where the price crashes. But yeah, as we know now, it's, it's not a restock, although there is a giant yeah. restock coming. Kanye West was tweeting uh, about they're, they're bringing back the, the white 350 Boost V2 in yeah. what they're calling the largest ever release of the shoe. Yeah. Mm. He's kind of finally was, delivering on that promise. I was having a recent conversation. With, with Kanye West? No, with, uh, with uh, Any chance with Kim Kardashian. The no, anyways, oh, this okay. is related to it though, with Josh Luber from StockX. Yeah. He was talking Josh, about, come on the show. Yeah, he was he was talking about- He wants to work for StockX so bad. No, You I think so? <laughs> he looks like a stock X type of nigga. You guys are linked in ready? Either way, he was saying though that he's seeing a lot of people. Josh, if you need a reference for wealthy, definitely text me. Can I fucking finish? Now you can. Finish. Eh, there we go. Now you can. Finish. Either way, it. but he was saying that he sees a lot of people being hesitant, dropping a lot of money on a pair of Yeezys because there's been, you know, a handful of restocks. It's very volatile. Yeah, where but, it's like. But Kanye said, and not to cut you off, but he said, I want everybody to have the shoe. But we know that like the game at this point, no matter for better or worse, is based around resell for, for a lot of it, especially with Yeezys of and whatnot. Course, that's not for someone so passionate as yourself. Yeah, exactly. But Do you own it, any Yeezys? Uh, I have had Yeezys in my possession. I'm what no happened longer. to them? Uh, Did you put them on your foot? They, they are Adidas. They, they funded a vacation. <laughs> um, but if you spend $1,500 on a pair of whatever, zebras or something like that, and right. then the shoe restocks, and then the shoes are worth 500 bucks, it's like, how are you going to feel? as a consumer on that end. You're gonna feel bad, but that's the market. Market crash all day long. All right, all right. We, we've been we've been away for a while. Shouldn't have left you, but we're back again. And, and yes. in, in this hiatus, I know a lot of things happened. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of young women DM me asking when the show is coming back. Um, a lot of sneakers released. We do want to kind of rewind. What was your talk success about, ratio with the DMs? I, I don't want to put all that out there, but uh, you know, I got a good percentage right now. Um, we do want to talk about all the sneakers that we missed in this time and kind of figure out what's what's the best sneaker of the summer right now. So we do have- Summer's, summer's winding down. It's been, has it been overall just a good uh, sneaker summer? Yeah, I think so. It's been exciting for you? Yeah, I mean, as exciting as my life as a sneaker blogger. Yeah, you think? What, what do you think this yes. summer just sneakers? I mean, sneakers when at, I look at this at, table, I'm not mad. Best summer sneaker? Is that is that kind of what we're talking not, about? Not here? the best Ooh. sneaker just 
Shoes of the or summer. The summer. Okay. Shoes of the summer. It's like okay. the, the song of the summer. What's the sneaker uh, of the summer? Cactus. I'm gonna go Jordans first. Travis okay. Scott or Jordan Travis, Fours. These are dope. The purple ones are the ones though, but yes. these actually are the purple ones mad. the ones because those are just encores. To me, well, to me, in my personal opinion, you want my personal opinion. The purple ones are the ones. The other undefeated looking ones look like undefeated, so they can't. I think the those ones. ones are dope though. The gray of looking course, ones. Of course, because you're old dude. Look at your hat, son. That's that's a dub. Get out of here. Wait, who's older between you two? I'm of course. The oldest I'm the oldest person on the set. <laughs> He's the oldest person in complex history. Not true. <laughs> He's a dinosaur, man. <laughs> All right, so you do like these? Yeah, no, of course. I purchased these. I, I, this was a shoe Did you buy that, it I retail? Bought, that I bought for resale mm -hmm. from high ass StockX, yo, butt buddies. Or uh, whatever. Dude. It took 10 days to get the shoe to StockX, then 10 no more days the good folks at to get the shoes to me. Those are pretty nice. No, these are good. Travis Scott is. Yeah, is, Travis Scott is his thing. This is, this is other, If you want to grab that one too, just other Air Jordans. So we got the Levi's fours in the white. The black one came out as well, but I think those, I wasn't sold. When did the, the blue come out? The denim blue. That came out like early, Last year? Earlier, yeah, earlier on in the year. I was worried because I saw one rich as saying he was going to wear the matching. We got us. We got a band that that name. From the show. <laughs> he was going to have a. He missed him. He, he missed him. Right matching thing that out. I think he was going to have a matching. That's like the only dude he could dress better than. So that's why he misses wow. him so bad. Wow. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the strap extra long on my hat. <laughs> Whew, but get the we strap. saw a lot of people dying. <laughs> we saw people dying. 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 You saw somebody die for that? Oh, dying like die. Yeah, tie dying the white ones. I didn't know. I'm actually the, serious. Do you think that they thought about that at Jordan and Nike? Like, yo, people probably die these and they have a better life than the actual uh, shoes. I, I think, know. I don't know if that, but I know the, like, it's very, like, the DIY. Yo, aesthetic. Frank, did you know that people want to do these yourself? Frank, please come on the show. Come you on, saw, Frank. Who was it? John Mayer was one of the first people to do the do the tie dye. The people John care Mayer. about John Mayer, I love bruh. John Mayer. How crazy is bruh, that? Bro, that's like, the most. Get out of here, bro. If John Mayer wanted to do a song with you right now, you would do bruh, it. Bro, that's different, bro. That's a check. That's money. That's different. We talking about shoes, yeah, my I G. I don't get the. How does John, John Mayer, Mayer become OG? He's OG. the mayor? OG is he Clark he's Kent? OG. Is he wait, Clark wait, 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 Kent? Wait, wait. Like who is he? An OG? I mean, like he used to have a blog on Honey back in 06. Bruh. We also had these off white. Those are Carolina. That's a hit to me. That's my favorite show to say. And that was a cool one because so many people got that, I've, right? I was, was like, yo. Finally, like, was it, was it weird, though, how they accessible. actually did the Carolina ones the other year and they were kind of a brick, but then they put the Virgil branding on it? That's not weird to me at all. That's just... <laughs> they do that all the time. Do you have these? That's the game. Of course. That's what, that's I bought those shoes game. proudly. You with these more than the white ones? Of course. I don't even have the white ones. Guys, I want to talk about this. We barely have any Adidas sneakers on the table. Barely have any Adidas sneakers on the table. Are we being biased here? I don't know how Matt Wealthy didn't sneak in some more like fucking. He probably wanted shoes. to put some BY Youngs or some crazy crap, <laughs> some crazy. The, the crazy part was is we were actually gonna have the black one on it, but then right. Trinidad touched it, it turned to gold. <laughs> Adidas didn't do it this year. You don't. You I didn't do it this year. I like that shoe though. I like that shoe. This colorway or the shoe? The shoe, just the shoe in general. So you would wear the black ones. I probably wear the gray ones. Okay. Yo, if this is what Adidas is holding on to, is like, or yo, this is what the shoe we put up here. If you want to talk about sneaker of the summer though, wait, you don't fuck with that shoe as, no. at all? Why not? Mm, I don't. Um, to me, it's just not the one. Like I got the 750. I got the 350. That's a better shoe than the 750. I, in your opinion, of course. No, again, look general. at your hat. I'm just saying, no, that's, no. Uh, that's debatable. Better than the 750? 100%. It's 100% more wearable. America, around the world, is this yeah. shoe better than the 750? God! The dinosaur. You're a complex dinosaur, son. No. 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 You're a complex dinosaur. No. All right, the one shoe we haven't talked about, this is my, this, yeah. I think this is it, right? This, this is a shoe. This has to be the shoe. This, summer, is a, right? this seems like a shoe that you would vote as number one. I wouldn't be mad at you. 100%. Is Actually, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit upset about the shoe because Why? I thought when oh, I yeah. first saw that's oh, right. you were gonna have it to yourself I was yeah gonna have it to myself it was gonna be one of these like weirdo like yakuso type shoes you know and nobody was gonna care about it and then it blew up all of a sudden the question i gotta ask though is when when did we kind of like turn the corner when that's the cool shit it's a sleeper it, and you see people wearing those with just like simple nike socks and shorts yeah. like that's the move so. gucci socks if you're me but well, you can fuck up with the sock combos version. with that right yeah, you gotta you of gotta course. be careful so yo first of all shout out to stadium goods for letting us Borrow your shoes. Stadium Goods, we love you guys, man. Thank you, so Thank you for showing yeah. love. Guys, we have a new segment here. You got a new me. What that's I'm replacing, just so you know, that's replacing our copper drop segment from before, but get a little bit more. Yeah, it. it's yeah. crap. Drip flipper skip. Drip, how well do things look? Like my outfit. This is the drip right here. Boom. Flip is if, you know, a shoe is hype, would you resell it? And skip is 
We hate it all together. Nobody likes it. All right. All right. All right. Cool. What are we talking about this week? So your favorite artist, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> the bio beige, oh Jordan threes, right? Is bio beige like the exact Pantone color of his skin? Is that what that's named after? Maybe so. I, I would imagine. You would know. This I mean, you guys are pretty similar, right? <sighs> Woo. I have nothing in common. I can't say that joke. Like other than race. This, so, Drift Flipper Skip, um, bio beige threes. I'm not allowed to say anything other than, than Skip. At, but at we've this seen point. a lot of hype build up around the shoe, though. That's the, that's the crazy have, part behind it. The bio I'm beige or yeah, just that shoe? No, the bio beige. The bio Every beige. Why have they been the talking about that shoe? I don't shoe? know. I've been seeing a ton of teasers for it, and I didn't think people would like a pair of brown Jordans, but and they're suede. Like I'm, I'm not going for that. That's a crap. That's that, a wait. That's a wait, from, wait. For but, you, it's what? That's a skip all day. I mean, we're all skipping it. I'm, we're, I'm super me, skipping. A, probably a flip. Do you think yeah. that's worth? Oh, I how think people. I those people, up on StockX. I think you get like. I think you at least get 500 bucks out of those, right? Maybe. Probably that's opening day, nice like they're like uh, like yeah, two but days. Yeah, but if I could get five, if I could make like 300 bucks off that shoe, oh, I'm not mad at what it. What are you doing with the 300 bucks? Uh, Please buy a new hat. The next shoe, guys, <laughs> the Jordan 5 International Flight Inspired, is the Barcelona joints. Yeah. Um, I'm a, <laughs> this is, I'm gonna say this is a, no, I'm gonna be honest with you. You have the flight suit on. No, I'm gonna be honest with you. The old me, the old me, like six years ago, right. I'm, this is the drip to me. Okay. Me now, this is a flip. I'm not gonna skip it. We're gonna go to Allen Houston jersey and rock it with this. Allen Houston, not bad. You're gonna buy these and resell them? Um, I don't have to, but if somebody gifted them to me. This is the worst of the pack, uh, but I don't think it's that bad, but still, I'm skipping it. I got, skip? I got a lot more Jordan 5s that I would rather Drip flipper skip. Yeah, this is just a, it's a skip. I mean, I, I'm not even talking about just because I'm not the biggest Jordan guy. No, we know You're that. Just, no, but this doesn't Wait. seem, who does this appeal to? Who do you think this? You're no, this is for this is for a younger person. This is for a younger person. Yeah. This is like a young person's like this is a good shoe. A young person, something you cannot relate to. Facts. <laughs> Dinosaur Daryl over here. <laughs> Next, guys, we got the Nike. First of all, I'm just gonna tell you right now. This is a this is a shoe, man. It's Kobe Bryant, so I'm biased ahead of time. But the new Nike Kobe AD, mm -hmm. I was dropping on Mamba Day, which mm -hmm. is uh the 24th. Right. Very soon. Right. Two years since he retired last. Oh wow, it has know. been. I went to his last game. Yeah, you were there. That was incredible. He had so 60 side, points. You were sitting up in the nose. No, no, no. I didn't know. I didn't know those plays. I could afford better seats. It was incredible. How he had many 60 kidneys points. do you have left? Mm, two. Right. Trinidad drip flip or skip for this one? Um, since drip is very positive, I'm gonna say drip. Yeah. But it's not a shoe that you would drip with. Mm -hmm. It's just a great shoe. It's like a great collector's piece. My personal opinion, especially if you're a Kobe fan. I'm a Kobe fan. If I'm, I'm a Kobe fan, I'm a, that's a collector piece. I will hoop in it. I would have you guys don't do any athletic things. So I, I've been known to run a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> run, <laughs> run away from your problems. <laughs> this is a skip for me. Uh, Not even a flip. No, I don't. I don't know if it's going to be limited like that. It's kind of a budget shoe, even. I think it's a little bit less than the last Kobe AD model. They <laughs> called it a budget shoe. That's incredible. Screams like 120 bucks. Yeah, this is this is not so something. So what is it? So it's a skip for you. This is a skip for me. And uh, I thought it was cool that Kobe debuted the shoe. What was that the Drew League? Yeah. Mm. He was was that Drew League? Uh, was I think Drew? it was Drew League. He was sitting okay. courtside. I have no idea what that is. Me, that was cool. But as far as actual shoe goes, it's a it's a skip. Yeah. You hate huh? basketball shoes. <laughs> Hey, basketball. But I, there's a shoe that he would like. Himself. The Adidas Tobacco, get it right, See, with um, Tom CP Company is a collab. This screams Matt. Like, this is a Matt watch. This is a Matt. <laughs> for people who don't know, put is, your face on okay. this. Oh, yeah. like, this ahead. is like one Go of the ahead. most, anti for like the shoes that I'm into, right? right. <laughs> Show them what you're wearing right now. Wearing the, the limited edition, size exclusive, uh, VHS, whatever. Right. right. But soccer culture around the world, CP Company, which is the same brand as Stone Island. is. Right. This right. is the joint where you got the, you zip it up yeah. with the goggles on yeah. your face. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, uh, it's just like the combination between the- Questionable activities, no one can catch you on the surveillance camera. Yes, so the combination between the two, is like a real popular combination in the soccer world. Is this the colorway that you would like? Oh, yeah, dude, this shoe, to me, this shoe is going to sell out, like, real quick. Oh, wow. It this, is, actually, this is your element, React. This is your element. This is me. For me, this is the... The shoe of the summer. This, this is the drip. The drip of all this drip. drip. This is like fucking jumping off Niagara Falls. Oh, the wow. The drip. This is <laughs> That's the real line. drip. What is this for you? This is actually a drip for, for me, too. Uh, as hard as it is to co-sign anything Matt Welty likes, I, I, I trust the story behind it, and I think this pack in general is pretty cool. I kind of like the Commander. I mean, it's a, it's a skip for me. Right. I'm, I'm against anything he loves. Okay. Well, that's simple, I guess. So, guys, to... We want to talk about just even more than shoes that we were drip flipping skip on. We want to get into some outfits or whatever. Jay-Z. you know nothing about. Hey, teach his own. Look at your hat. Our boy Jay-Z rocking the shoe of the summer. Have you ever 
spoken to Jay-Z? Yeah, twice. <laughs> um, Actually, twice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Did he tell you to quit music? Mm-mm. He told me kept going. With the off-white, uh, what, what we call it, a trench? It like zips cape. in three places. It looks like a cape to me. Is he the first person ever to wear that? I think he debuted it or whatever, but my buddy hit me on FaceTime like yesterday. He was like, yo, I got the Jay-Z jacket. Mm. So it's now the Jay-Z off-white jacket. And then it's the shoe. And then he has this shoe on, which is the shoe of the song. Which is also crazy, too, because Jay-Z, as we know, is part of Puma basketball, and he's not wearing any Puma. That's when you're a boss. This is the drip. I like this version of Jay-Z. Jay-Z's Jay 50 years old, some, my some G. That's the drip. In his, in his day. You as wish you have. could dress that good, son. As we all have, but... What is it? Tell me. No, I mean, I think it's... Be a, honest. It's... I don't know if Jay-Z, it's like... To me, he looks older and older. Okay, of nowadays. course, he's 50 years old, yeah. my G. What, so is it a skip? Is it a- I don't know. You like, like it? It's, it? He's dressing a little too young, but- Okay, so it's a skip. Be it's, honest. It's, it's, it, this is actually- He won't, he won't fire it's you. It's a sorry. flip. It's a flip. It's what, like you're, so you'll sell the pieces? No, I'm saying it's a bit of a hype beast move. Okay. All right. All right. I got That's you. all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Skip. Skip. New York's own, ASAP Rocky. Mm -hmm. um, Rocky Wealthy said show. that ASAP Rocky put people back on white mids, white on white Air Force One mids. Did Rocky bring back that energy? I think Is so. that what you really feel? I think so. But what's the background on this? He was in a in, a, in an ad campaign where- For Calvin Klein, even yes. though he signed Under Armour. Um, kind of weird, but people in the ASAP uh, mob tend to not like following their shoe responsibilities. They do what they want. It was, he was snitching. Look at that hat. He's so snitch on anybody. He's snitching on his mom. Yeah, I'm gonna be like- <laughs> All right, do we appreciate this fit from, from uh, Rocky here? Yes, bro, it's Rocky. I don't have time to go against what he wears. Like, it's Rocky. It's All right. new Calvin Klein. All right. But the, that's the, the Air Force One mids, I'm not going to say that he brought it back. That's some weird, I would say in two, some like, weird Matt Wealthy 2012, shit. 2012, no, 2012, 2013, he definitely went really hard in that shoe. And if you want to talk about the whole downtown V-Files kids. So, what is this? I'm not saying ASAP Rocky made Air Force One mids cool in general. The kid who was like, who's 18 now, wasn't even around when fucking, or how old was he when Nelly? Nelly was the Air Force Ones and yeah. he was the Air Force Ones? I guess it didn't matter. So he Rocky is years that, old. Rocky is the new Nelly for Air Force Ones, basically. I guess. I there mean, you have it, folks. Rocky is the new Nelly. There we go. So what is this, drip, flip, or skip, Brendan? I think he did his thing. Uh, yeah, no, this is his drip. This is drip. Drip. So guys, rather than the mailbag section this season, we're talking about the comments section. Uh, every week we're gonna ask you a question. We want you guys to kind of talk with us there in the YouTube comments or on, on Twitter, on Instagram, in my DMs, uh, wherever it may be, they are open. Um, this dude's DMs are on fire. Uh, we we wanna know what you think about everything we've been saying. Also, we wanna know who had the worst take every single episode. That's an important thing because we are going to punish whoever said the most outlandish, foolish thing here on the show. For the meantime, we're gonna take some comments from the last video that we uploaded. So Trinidad, if you would please pass me the comments section and I will read off some hopefully insightful input from the FS Army around the world. Also, if you can find anyone out there who watches the show, if you can find Brendan's Twitter account, please find it and publicize it because no one here knows what it is. All right. Um, I'll send you a pair of sneakers. Ivan M saying, yo, that's uh, three O's on there. Finally, FSR is back. He put an exclamation mark on there. Losing rich. I don't know who that is. It's tough, but I'm glad Soul Collector listened to the people and let Trinidad James host, uh, co-host. Let's let's make that abundantly clear. Trinidad James is a co-host. The only people that made sense were him, Jinx, and a couple of other guys. So uh, Ivan M, for what it's worth, uh, giving you a vote of confidence here. Hey man, so you think you think you were a better choice than Rax? Who's that? We have Six Berg Six Four SS saying good choice. I liked Camp James. Never forget Camp James said, they Plastic. still need to replace Mustache and Mr. Personality. <laughs> oh, but this is a step Mustache in the Mustache right and Mr. Person oh. He wants us to retool the whole damn show. That's not happening. Wow. Um, Swift Crook says, should have been Teddy the Boost God, man. I'd rather get, I'd rather get Rex. That's not happening. With all due respect to the Boost God. Um, we also have AK91 saying, I don't know how you guys don't have more subscribers. Well, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that button. Come on, guys. Thanks a lot, folks, for tuning in to this uh, season premiere episode of Full Size Run. Like I said, we'll be back. We'll be Episode here. one. Yeah, uh, we're only going to get better from here, I guess. His outfits will look better, guys. Trust me. I mean, this drip spreads, so these guys will stop this dressing like FBI drip. agents. Something we're working on. <laughs> it's a drip. Again, I'm Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. I'm Trinidad Drippin' James. We'll see you next time. She, she, she won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my children. This is full size run.
I need you to subscribe now or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci socks.